Hello and welcome back to what's this? Cud buds nerf. Yeah. Here we go. We did it. It's done. Uh huh. It's been done. We've done it. All right, we're going to. Um, have we gone to either of those sites? No, I don't think we have. Did we have one in the mountains too? Oh, is that that one's in the grove? That one's yeah. In the we mountains. Got one in the below. grove, one in the mountains. I'm gonna may as well hit the grove because that one's gonna be Grove Street where the Balas live. There's a rocket know. turret. Oh, that's brutal. We might just nope this for a minute. We only have 136 hit points. Yeah, I'm in favor of that. I vote in, fa in favor of skipping the rocket turret. Nice. Go Folk Village. Yeah, which side is... Oh, yeah. there's hostiles nearby that's, on this one. That's why I avoid. Oh, we got a square cap. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Oh, we didn't know that one. Uh... Acting against labor laws restricting the rights of historians, Ixermast led an army to the gates of Ernep. She stacked Ernep and slaughtered the citizens, forcing them to change the name to Ixermast City. And the uh, good old plus one and plus one ego helmet. I didn't know it gave both. I thought it was just intelligence. Okay, so yeah, the village was on the west, so we might as well come over to this side. Do we want to cook, uh, cook with some sk skulk? Oh, for digging through the... Yeah, make this easier on ourselves. Well, so it could be in one of these outside. Oh, good lord. That's a discovery and a half. Yeah. Hated. It's a decent, uh... Oh, we're, go we're, we're committing to this. Yeah, why not? Uh, I... We just we just left uh, Ezra. Yeah, that's true. Uh, probably right around here. That's a lot of things that just happened there. Uh, the squire did actually moved. Oh, we're confused? Yeah, I think they flashbanged you. No longer confused, knocked prone. Uh, astrally burdened, not a problem. So... Yeah, no, there's just too much in this pile right now for us to get what we need. We might be able to survive it, though. Probably not. <laughs> Ouchies. Have you used, like, all of yourself, maybe? We only have two left. Oh, God. Oh! Nope. Well... I mean, we might as well use our checkpoints, right? Yeah. All we lost there was a Goldfold village. Interestingly enough, I think he's still... They're still gonna be there, right? Yeah, so, makes sense. I'm just gonna confirm that by sneaking a peek over here. Nope. Same map, but not that encounter. Oh, we've got a river here. We might be able to sneak a peek. Yeah. There we go. Wow. That's uh that was nice. That was convenient. <laughs> and we have a sappy sappy historic site. And more books. I mean of course. Of course more books. Everyone here loves books. One of your historic site named objects was a book which isn't not was it it's not uncommon but like oops oops oh no those books yeah that was the first edition tolstoy ouch kind of hate saps they're annoying yeah Nice. Oh, that's a interesting solution to that. I'd never thought of that. <laughs> I mean, it was world map. Yeah, that's true. Well, you technically have wings. Mm -hmm. So it's canon. More books. More books. Get that XP. We got livid creepers. This is going to be a good historic site. Not that they haven't all been good so far. Minus a rocket turret. I might put forward if we got if we got laser turrets, um, getting disarming shot. Yeah, that would be pretty good. Get that. Get that sweet bits. Oh my god, 28 pound artifact. Oh, I love a freeze rate. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. I won't uh, I won't judge you for dis uh, disassembling it because I know it's super heavy, but um, I, I've been I've been super fond of the freeze ray. Actually, I'm interested. Whenever you fuck, there's a 100% chance you emit a flavor. Uh, I mean, that's nice. Whenever you said, yeah, I think fire, I'm just going to take this one. What was the a little bit of like... damage reflection? Wasn't the other one like whenever you're set on fire or whenever you take fire damage, you reflect 100% of the damage onto your enemies? For three attacks or whatever. That one would have been pretty decent in here too, yeah. 
just set yourself on fire. What's the what's the easiest way to set yourself on fire? Mm, spontaneous combustion. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I never thought of that actually. If you took like spontaneous combustion as a flaw and then just always cook with uh, Dawn Glider, it's like whenever you take fire damage, this happens. Your greatest enemy becomes your greatest ally. Oh, we did level, so we should be able to get disarming fat. And I will, I'll learn something from this because I'm not exactly sure how it works. Is it just like passive? Yeah. Amazing. Good lord. The only thing is like dueling with a laser turret. Probably not. Dueling pistols with a laser turret, rather. Probably not the. No. Oh yeah, we're not uh, uh, above ground anymore, so I can just melee these guys. I guess um I didn't realize you cooked with um mirror dust because of the laser turret. It helps. Just reflection damage in general is nice. I'm heading into an end game myself and I'm considering trying to put like refractive on all of my armor pieces. I mean, imagine how much damage we would have done in that last melee if we had had reflective, right? Well, reflective is only light based effects, right? No, I think it reflects all damage from mirror dust. Oh, well, yeah, from mirror dust, but I mean, um, <clears throat> the, the modification is only light based. Yeah, yeah. I have no clue what's going on at this point. You got some flame-based flowers, I think. I recognize the uh, the kind of the cross T. Yeah, some dread roots with some aloe pyra. Here. Yes. No. No, you didn't get it. Yep. Grooved instincts. <laughs> Just trying to read the titles as they fly by. No. Shoot. This is this is pretty good except for the saps. Yeah, I mean they're saps. Silly look, spider. Look at all the set of the books. So many books. Books town. Wait, why am I attacking with my glow sphere? Uh, what why does my primary Liam keep sw switching? I don't know. That's a weird one. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I just had a really weird idea. Um, can you fight with a weapon that's cracked now, i know cracked only happens on armor yeah. but i have noticed that you can crack your horns yeah you can hmm okay it doesn't do anything to the weapon i'm not sure then you gotta reload yeah pain pistol is out of ammo oh my god it really came out of nowhere that's what is happening there one of them is your friend or uh, your enemy and then the rest of them are your, are your friends yeah i don't know They're still your friends what is happening? This is very confusing. Oh, right. Didn't you actually get on like semi good terms with one of the cults? Uh, yeah, it could be that those are the like, but I think all the this is like holy place, right? So semi good term shouldn't be enough right oh god we're already in overcumbrance yep. just showing off the unencumbered mod a lot it's a really good mod i i i love it oh uh -oh. god yeah that's spicy oh wait it's an ooze <laughs> oh right right friends to humors we've got a funny bone all right hated by robots nice and mopongo uh, and mollusks that's a not whole that good. mollusk matters anymore yeah Mollusk still is pretty good reputation because of all the acid slugs and ruins. Yeah. What do we got? What do we got? Philosophical lid. Plus one intel. Eh. Yeah. It, I mean, the, the AV is pretty good for a helmet, but you can't wear it anyway. Oh, I mean, I guess you can. You can. I can. It's a good thing you have two heads. Yeah, it's also got heat resist, though. That's why I'm thinking about it, but... Yeah, actually, I guess for a helmet, helmets usually don't provide a lot, so that's actually not bad. Okay. <laughs> we'll just uh do this now all right uh i think this will take a while oh, oh no. no it wandered all the way down that hallway let's try here uh -huh. okay we can get out there oh we taught we taught auto explore how to the deep dig the the forbidden calculus yeah we need uh i forgot about our jewel encrusted freezing counterweighted steel dagger yeah one thing i i feel like i led people astray on the um cooking and gathering tutorials i i said that there's no reason to keep food 
in its solid form but i did actually do a test um to confirm if it if it gets you more money i found that you can actually sell solid goods for more than um preserved goods yeah some of them but it's like so much extra weight to carry around the denoid avoid the denoid uh yeah come I, to this yeah go for it i i love it but it's uh, yeah it is it's also, good it's also a heavy weapon so Oh, we got another ooze. Oh, that ooze is actually a problem. We might have to end that ooze. Look at all the books it's Do we still burned. have breathe fire? No. We're hungry. I mean, we just let this food ooze do its thing. Pretty soon there won't be any books to pick up, you know? Yeah. I don't think we really need those books. <laughs> I cannot. We already can't. I cannot. I cannot abide by this blaspheme. We're disassembling stun rods now. That's fine. Oh, my God. <laughs> All our chem cells are drained because we've been fighting juice apps. Of jams. And now we're dropping books. Now we're dropping books. All right. What about your... Uh, we could drop your gauntlets. I know they're good. Oh. Um, we could make a couple of Hulk injectors. That would save you a couple pounds. Uh, drop all your torches. That seems like an obvious oh, one. Oh, yeah. I don't know why. Those were uh, probably still on keep from the early game. Duh. Of jams. Um. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good. Call. If we're at Herberry, no need to keep which would work. We don't have any cells. We'll just walk. You can recharge. Hey, we got our first laser. The laser pistol and it's got a small trinket it could be good could be could be a nuke yeah yes yep. okay so now we can actually get out of here uh though i think we have tinkering you can you can just re oh. yeah you are like two steps away from ezra yeah looking around at what we've got here i feel like the tile for oh never mind i'm looking at a different name location or historic site i wonder if uh goat and sweet leaf is enough for us to get nuke yeah i think so All right. Uh, 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 probably also learn. Nope. Because of the jacked. I didn't realize that. Actually, that would be a pretty good uh, gun for you. Yep. Although lasers, um, don't they disintegrate? Yeah, I guess if I kill with the laser, it'll dust something. But if we're disarming with the laser, then could we conceivably disarm <clears throat> them before we disintegrate them? Potentially. We just gotta go drop off books. We're carrying way too much weight. Did we we check yeah, we did do that um historic site in the jungle. Uh, I had a rocket turret, we noped it. No, that was the one uh, northeast of you. What is that? It's a uh, vortex generator. Huh. I don't think I've seen that. Quantum Rippler. Uh, there's another one, uh, but it's not powered. Oh my god, there's like four of them. Now, will that vortex send you to somewhere random every time, or is it like a consistent drop? I don't remember. I've oh, this... definitely seen the vortex ripplers before, though. This is a, this is a nightmare ruin. What is that? Oh, I don't know. It's just like... I mean, you got pretty high tier slimes. Uh, Red Death Dacas are kind of a problem. And but there's books. But there is books. Yeah, you got me there. Okay. But there's books. I'd be tempted to throw a checkpoint down and then uh, step through some portals. Ooh, that um, large frog, bloated pearl frog, was already being attacked by high tier slime. And I guess the slimes are our friend, aren't they? Yeah, we're we're friendly with these. I was going to remind you of that. I forgot. Again. When you were like, there's high tier slimes. I'm like, that uh, that completely ignore us? Oh, we got slammed. Um, it, uh, thank it. Oh, ho, 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 ho. That irritable palm, though. That 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 hitting the button a few no, too many times. No, you just ate salvage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> That's really good. Lost. Can we just re restore checkpoint? Yeah, all right. Let's right. Let's not do that lost. Oh my goodness. Hide sheathed hermit. 
I think we're okay on we are on good terms with hermits. Master work scoped to curry rifle. That's a nice find. It is. I mean for low tier. Um yeah. not for current tier, but I'm kinda sad we uh we lost that forgotten ruin. That was a really interesting one. That was a pretty fun one. Ixer Masp. We got new Ixer Masp lore. I'm sorry. Went too fast. We gotta find out how he, he, he lost the giant helmet and then he made friends to pigs. Oh, a flamethrower. Our, 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 uh, the sister gun. Yeah. See, I find a flamethrower more useful than a freeze ray. Really? Yeah, because it can melt acid down the floor. Oh, right. I mean, that is a good use for flamethrower. I just find a yeah. uh, freeze ray negates, like, a lot of high tier dangers. Yep. I mean, frozen in general is like the best thing ever yeah when it's not being used against you throw mad caravan and this guy sure has a like dangerous you want to turn butcher off i have a tendency of just dropping stuff what that, that is an interesting thing hemel of the vision yeah. <laughs> no idea honestly love uh a lasting skill cap but uh, yeah i was gonna say i think i'm gonna carry it because it's uh it's only one pound uh, and it'll give a little bit of cold resist when I want it. Ah. Well, they're right there. Also, I have a decent willpower, so. Does that give you resistance? Yeah, that's your mental armor. Right. So, uh, legendary hide sheets hermit is either hiding or, uh, oh, we're carrying too much. There he is. Uh, it's really not worth doing anything with him. Nah, no, not really. I don't know how much, how good, like, hermit reputation is. Doesn't really matter. All right, dude, I, I should charge you for uh, cleaning out the... Uh, we still have a lot of ruins that we can go back at that we haven't, like, fully explored. But let's be real. If we did that, there were going to be books. <laughs> <laughs> there were gonna be books That's, there were gonna yeah. be books we should uh we had... real quick go to jopa and get get our other books and go back bring our other books over here yeah the thing is is that we've always been so close to like overweight without books anyway like or like we've never had the because we wouldn't have been able to carry them then right right Yeah. That is a lot of books. Good lord. Also, albino ape hearts have uh, tiles now? 385 pounds. Which means there's 384 books in it. Because it weighs one. Jeez Louise. Hey! We're, uh, we're friends to Ooze. We could we could grab some primordial uh, slime and just like make ooze friends. Yeah, right. <laughs> just friends. Go collect in, some ooze. Friends in a bottle. Yeah. It's like that. Um, I think it's like Bugs Bunny versus Marvin the Martian. They get the little minion in a pellet. Just add water. What are we making? Yeah, we may as well learn some. We could learn some secrets. Yeah, we could do a gland paste. Well, not when you're inspired. Actually, it yeah. doesn't make any sense. I don't know why. But I feel like this combo could come in handy soon. Sleep, beard, and what? And we ended up with teleport other. I mean, that's not bad. Yeah, I was hoping for teleport self, but... Right. We should um, throw the nuclear cell in our laser pistol. Uh, I almost agree with you. Oh, interesting. I think it might be better off in the geomagnetic. I... Hmm... I don't know if I can agree, but only because I, I and I want I would love to get your perspective on the geomagnetic disc because I, I resist it somewhat. I know it's good and I understand why it's good, but I often find that it doesn't have the pen that I want, which is to say it's just just enough, but not what I want, which is too Isn't much. it vibro? It's vibro, which I think means that it just meets. It only AV. pens once. Yeah. Yeah, it only pens once, which means it'll never be amazing. It'll only ever be good enough. Yeah, but it hits four dudes. <laughs> it hits four dudes, but it it only hits them for like seven damage, maybe. But like that's perfect for 
the activity that we will likely be doing next. Right. See, what I was planning on doing was that was going to be the way that I was going to take out Dawn Gliders, was I was going to throw on the Temporal Fugue Mace, oh. put the nuclear cell in the geomagnetic, and just make some friends to go I... throw shit at Dawn Gliders. I completely forgot about Temporal Fugue. Yeah, Temporal Fugue with geomagnetic disc is kind of a completely different ball game. See. Therein lies some recursive chaos shenanigans. Yeah, no, Where you got me thoughts? there. That's uh, that that is the that was my that was my plan. That was it. What we were going to be doing next. That's the shenanigans perspective that I was looking for for sure. <laughs> I love that actually. Yeah, seven damage is quite a lot when you have seven friends all throwing yeah. the same bracelet or a disc. Because we the... do have the traveling rod of Ubermore. Yeah. <laughs> also. Well, that's not the one. Yeah, perpetual fell of tear red, erstwhile roost of scientists. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's too good. I almost think that that would be worth cloning for an extra three levels of temporal fugue. Yeah, that would be a nice one because it had three. Oh, hey, we can finally raise horns again. Heck yeah. It's rank five underneath those rapids, but look at that. Uh, 2d8 plus 4 AV. I mean, the plus 4 AV is honestly really good too. Yeah, it's that's halved because we took two. Yeah. But yeah. yeah. That's like that's better than any helmet and better than any knife in the game. Mm-hmm. A pen is also really nice. Yeah, no, that's uh, that's absurd. Let me know when you're about ready to leave, because uh, then we'll end the episode. Yeah, I think that's. Uh... We don't have you anything know, we on should... our face. We need some face things. Yeah, we've actually disassembled a few face things. Dang. Uh, uh... I was saying we needed to buy. We, we have two faces even. Yeah. yeah. We needed to. We needed to buy some spectacles. Because uh, then we can mod them with um, reflective or whatever the um, basically shields what do we from have flashing. For... We don't yeah. have any mods. What? Well, we haven't learned tinkering. Oh, geez, right. We still don't have tinkering the skill. Wow, honestly, I'm impressed that we've made it this far without even touching tinkering. I mean, we don't really need it yet. That's just. Well, that's the part that impresses me. Because I'm like, oh, I always need tinkering. I'm always all oh, yeah polarized. That's the one I was thinking of. Also, I only found out recently that mirror shield glasses gives you ego. Yeah. So that's really that's really cool, and I love I love how much sense that makes. I think it's funny that we're carrying around two folding chairs. Yeah. May as well. I mean, they're, they're zero weight. Um, if you are enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more of this. And we'll see you guys next time. Laters.